a mobile stand that can face downwards towards the table and take uh, and and capture whatever the A4 size papers are in front of it and use an optical character recognition and uh, convert it into um, uh, voice commands so or uh, voice uh, instructions or just reading it out so how do we make it the, the whole idea is to how to raise a mobile phone say one feet above the table and keep it uh, in that position for a long time right so let's let's start drawing uh, the first thing that I would do is try to draw an A4 size paper or at least the dimensions of it so I click on the top tab um, and I would go to the sketch plane and uh, oh I think I need to also convert my work units from inch to centimeters or to let's say to millimeters I think I'm more comfortable with that and so okay we are back in the square one this is the original uh, screen I have written the name as phone scanner and I draw sketch and um, um, okay I think I made a mistake sketch plane is already part of so okay we are in the sketch plane we have selected the top plane and we have clicked on the sketch button so we are in the sketch plane now and I just want to remove all the other planes okay I just want to make my view very simple so here we are and all I have to do is instead of a corner rectangle I take a center point rectangle I when I hover over here is the reference point I click over here and I can make a rectangle okay now this rectangle is uh, should have the length and breadth of an A4 size paper uh, because everything else will revolve around that thing so let's take the dimension of it so we know that the longer part is around 297 uh, millimeters Oops. and the shorter part is around 210 millimeters all right so that's the A4 size paper now what I would do is just so that it is visible um, uh, and that's that's the that's about the the kind of thing I'll do I will not draw anything more we have a simple paper here we quit the sketch part and uh, we extrude this piece uh, just by you know, so we say new and we click the face and sketch regions to ex ex extrude uh, and we don't want 25 we just want let's say 1 millimeters okay and that's it so we have a, a plane with us okay now I want to build a, a mobile phone stand over here and because I want to have a very clear reference so let's let's say I want to keep my mobile phone uh, right on top of here how do I place so I want to draw another rectangle over here a, a rectangular box over here with which will represent the mobile phone um, so what I can do is um, let me so this is something new that we'll try okay so there is let me see if there is a yeah if you see this thing it's it if you read the description it says create new construction planes by referencing existing planes or geometry so what we want to do is I can't create anything directly in the air over here I need to I need to give it a reference so what I will do is um, I'll click on this 
and I will click on this plane so what it does is makes this plane as a reference and by moving this mouse over here I can create another plane you see what has what is happening over here I create another plane I will say I want um, distance of, of feet so which is around uh, 250 mm or is it 300 I will just write one feet okay oh it's quite uh, long uh, I would not say I would say uh, 300 mm oh it's 300 mm so what has happened is as you can see I've created another plane over here and I'll want my mobile phone to be sitting on this plane okay let's create a small uh, phone on this piece of paper so I'll, I've selected this plane this is a newly created plane and I go to sketch right and this whole plane is selected I again go to the top and I would like the phone to um, uh, of the the camera of a phone by design or something is often at the top of the phone right so what I will try to do is create another rectangle and you see it's I'm, I'm just creating it right beneath the spot so there's a thin yellow line if you can see it extends um, I'll, uh, I'll place the center of that rectangle the rectangle over here and I'll do this okay I'm assuming the camera is right at the center it may not be always but uh, we can change that later on but right now for for right now let's keep it like this and this phone size um, I would say is uh, something like let's let's See the phone size is around uh, 100, 120 millimeters on the longer side, and um, just uh, about 65 millimeters on the shorter side. All right, and how far it is? Because if you if you see now. If I've escaped all commands, it's still blue. That means it can be dragged anywhere, and we don't want that. You know, we want it somewhere over here. So the best way to do it is to give a reference between this line and this central point. Okay. So let's keep it as 25. Okay. Now you have uh, a kind of a phone over here and uh, all you have to do is extrude it now so we have closed this sketch and you can see we have drawn a small sketch and let's extrude it so you select this and up comes uh, 25 millimeters is too much normally the phone thickness would be 10 millimeters right and that's it this is the phone that has been created okay uh, now as you can see that we have the paper we have the phone the two most important things but how to keep it suspended here for a long time okay so that's the key thing that's the role of this um, thing that we actually begin to make right now so what you will make is actually the the piece of machinery that will hold this phone at a fixed distance away from the paper. Uh, for that what I will try to do is create a central ridge, a C shape uh, but an inverted C shape or let's say we will create a C shape. Uh, for that I will draw the C shape on this front plane.
I click on the plane and I uh, will start the sketch and of course I have to again check if the workspace units are all set to millimeter that's true no problem um, sketch and uh, we are in the sketch zone so uh, this has arrived over here and we go to the front mode so you can see that uh, we, what we want to do is something to hold the paper together as well as the phone so what I will try to draw is um, let's say I'll zoom in now this is all um, I'm just trying to you know, imagine a kind of shape that will hold both of these things together so for example yeah. make this straight consider this as a straight line Again, give a slight angle over here. You might, it might be difficult to understand what I'm doing right now, but let's hold on, hang on for a minute. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So you see what I've done is a cross section of uh, there's the paper here and there's a C here. This is how it will look from the side. And all I have to do is now I've got the rough shape built in. And now what I'll do is try to just fix these. So what I've selected is two lines, and here what I will do is make them the same, make them uh Collinear. Um, why is collinear not here? That means they should be all in the same line. Concentric? Okay. Yeah, concentric works. Okay. Um, I will have to give dimensions to each. So I know that the phone is something like that, but I, I'll, I, I'll not. Uh, completely constrain it like com this piece of line should not completely touch this this piece of line okay otherwise uh, some other phones which may have some and this is a general idea of a phone a phone might be plus minus in size so i'll keep this as a uh, broad uh, value let's say if i keep this as 75 okay give it give it some um oops it went up that's okay yeah okay 75 and what i'll do is i'll combine these two lines so that the we are so that we are um i'll click that one's click this one both of these lines are selected and i would say coincident okay so now they are on the same line uh, and I would also do one more thing as I will uh, construct a line from the center of um, this line 
to the center of this line, which is the center of this whole line. So I and it automatically selects because the center of the phone has been aligned with the center of the uh, whole uh, image. And now you will see this line is tilted. I, what I will do is just uh, select that line and make it vertical. Okay. So as you can see, everything is aligned. There's an equidistant. See the center of this line and center of this line is now on the same. The midpoints are the same on the same vertical line, and therefore the gap over here and the gap over here is all balanced out. Okay, so this is one of the tricks we can use now. The other thing is to important thing is we convert this line into a construct construction line. So you can see right above there's a construction line. Okay, and so this is an indicator that we have everything settled. Now we do not want the well of the phone to be so deep so we will just give it a another dimension we'll say the distance from here to the base will be hardly 20 m nothing more than that we don't want a very high uh, base okay and uh, we'll say the thickness the piece of material that will hold the uh, body down uh, the the C C thickness. Let's say the total thickness is um, forty. So that's from here till here is forty millimeters, and only halfway through is twenty millimeters. We can actually make this the uh, we can put actually ten, so that we just need only a little bit of depression. We'll have most of the support over here take care um, and now what I want to do is now if you if you can see that if I move this thing yeah it's moving also right but I want uh, I want both of these things this slanting shape the reason I kept it slanting is because the phone can then if you uh, the phone can slide over to the center okay uh, and it's also ergonomically uh, looking better rather than to have straight edges so what I will do is I'll fix the angles of uh, uh, these two lines I'll click on that line and select the bottom line and I'll say it's uh, let's say 125 okay and I'll do the same thing. I'll click this line and the bottom line. I'll say 125. Okay. Now that has become black. Everything's black. The top part is defined. Uh, this part is blue because we haven't really defined this length. Okay. So what I will do is um, I'll just take the length of this guy on the bottom. That will fix it. 135 so these are very arbitrary numbers and it's still blue because um, uh, okay what we could do another thing that we could do is we can um, let's see let's see what I'll try to do is I will try to center this with this line so see if, if I come over here there's a small point if I hover over here there's a small point which is basically the center of this line which is just highlighted I click on that and I click on that which is the center of this line and center of the uh, phone also okay and let's see if I can um, so one of the things is I, I convert it into um, I select this line and I convert it into a construction line. Okay, and let's see if I can make it vertical. See, this is already selected, so let me see if I can make it. Okay, well, that becomes very easy then. Now you have everything vertical. We don't need so much of width over here. Um, 
uh, we can trim it later on. But you see how I'm trying to get everything is in proportion. Um, so another thing, and this is all part of design. So a designer makes all these decisions, right? In terms of aesthetics, in terms of strength. Um, sometimes the decisions are very intuitive. Uh, and only through experience I know so I'm, I'm thinking this sea will be made out of wood plywood and so I am thinking what is the strength of the plywood which will hold this phone at that height together and so on so um, yeah I think uh, it takes it takes some experience to make these decisions but for now you can just learn the tricks of the CAD that I'm using all right um, now one thing is to be symmetrical this is a 40 millimeter wide uh, top let's uh, let's also have 40 millimeters over here between these two lines however these two lines are not parallel to each other so let's do one thing we will make them parallel to each other we cl click on both these lines both these lines are selected and in this um, tab you see that you can make it parallel all right so now we have them as parallel we can give them a dimension to make it 40. i don't know how it will turn out to be yeah it turns out to be good all right so we have 40 millimeters over here uh, I think this thing and this thing should also be 40. Oh, it's 42, so it's good that we figured it out. This should also be 40, all right? And the base should, let's, let's also make it 40. Okay, so that it's a complete beam of 40 millimeters, all right? And as you can see that the, this, this, is the, this is the paper for us. And we 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 don't we don't get A4 size papers in different uh, formats. We get it only on that particular thing. So let's do one thing: is um, so I pressed an escape button, and my mouse pointer has returned to selection. Uh, I would like this edge and this edge. Uh, this edge uh, to be coincident so that this edge moves right over here so can we do that can we do that okay that's what we have done let's see how it looks okay it looks good uh, Or, or let's say do, let's let's not do it. I just press Control Z. I have um, changed it. I would like it to be at least two mm wider than the paper because the paper sometimes needs to fit in. Um, what we should do? In fact, I remember that we need a particular plate over here to hold the paper well. The cell phone is not as wide as flimsy, so it can be held very to, uh, together very well. Um, we need a plate, plywood plate over here to hold it. So ideally, this should... Uh, I did this. Let's see. So one of the things that I did is mm, I aligned it. I would like to see where are the constraints. Let's let's delete it. Just I have deleted this line, and what I will try to do is extend. Oh, okay. So this this is where the problem is. Can I extend it? Yeah. So uh, it was aligned with uh, this 
line over here and I want to you know um, I want to have a piece of uh, plywood beneath on the paper I'll draw the plywood in terms of a rectangular cross section box okay but I will also try to make it um, okay let's so what is happening is you are seeing that this is quite complicated but I still want to show you how it is done. Uh, I have selected the construction uh, icon and I select the rectangle. So a rectangle which is of the construction form will be created. I have created arbitrary rectangle. All I have to do now is align. Uh, again I will select the construction. I will draw a line from the center. You see always uh, what I'm trying to do is align it. So I found the center of the rectangle and I found the center of the paper, uh, the whole image reference frame. And I uh, click them and now what I'll do is I'll make them vertical. So I go back over here and make it vertical. Okay. In this way what is happening is that the whole rectangle is aligned with the paper it's equidistant. Uh, this is the plywood that we will add beneath the paper as you will see. Um, and, uh, let's say the plywood thickness is let's say the plywood thickness is uh, it's a 10 mm plywood. Alright? And the, the width of the plywood is, so we know that the width of a uh, paper is 210, we can make it 220. So it has 5, 5 millimeters on both sides and that's enough. So that's the plywood that will be here. Um, what I would add is now, uh, what I would do is, I would click, I'll press escape, I want this point and this line to be aligned. But that's when I want the uh, the bottom uh, bottom support for this plywood. Um, I will uh, make it coincident. So now these are coincident. I'll just draw a clean line now from here to here right and uh, I would bring this point over to here and I would draw another line from here to here okay so when when you're getting this grayish color that means that your um, your diagram your line drawing uh, is closed that means it can be extruded if if I had not drawn let's say I, if I don't draw this last line okay uh, oh you're still getting oh it's still I still get the dark uh, no I think I have yeah so if I if I don't draw the this closing line no matter how much I try to select it I will not get a closed uh, the, the color indication that it's a closed surface so this is the only line that needs to be closed so what I'll do is either I can click this line and uh, convert it into so this is construction I click it again and it becomes a solid line and solid line therefore it the whole thing becomes now like a single piece of wood okay um, there are still a lot of things that we need to do in order to make it all black uh, so let's start putting some numbers over here um, let me give the bottom dimension uh, let's say 300 that's already quite a lot it's uh, 300 uh, millimeters 
again I would like ideally to center uh, center it so I will uh, connect the center of the image to the center of this bottom line I convert this line into a construction line so that it is only helping us draw and I'll make it um, I don't know if this will work or not but I'll make it I'll make it vertical okay yeah so I've made it vertical and if I can see that's the image it's forming um, and here uh, we can just have it as um, something to uh, let's say I'll make this height again 40 millimeters and then this is too less so I'm wondering yeah this will be too less this, this is too thin over here so I'll make it 50 millimeters so at least we have 20 millimeters on the bottom uh, we are going to do some more modifications to it so it will come out a bit uh, complicated than you have in initially imagined it to be um, I still want this slant over here so let's uh, have um, the same angle as before it was 125 if you remember okay and uh, whereas now what are we missing why is this still blue so let's select this point and drag it oh okay that height has to be fixed okay so we know that this is a 50 millimeter but the height of distance between this and this has not been fixed so let's click the bottom piece and this piece and say its height is 20 alright so it really feels nice when everything is black or turning towards black uh, now you'll see that this these two are blue so again we use the magic trick we just take one of the points and drag it along oh so that's what is happening so that angle is not fixed so let's do one thing uh, let's keep this point and this line uh, all in the same same plane or uh, same line and we have selected them and let's do coincident you see now this is right in coins and it has fixed the whole image everything has become black all right i hope you have understood this part now what i want to do is uh, can do this but then we need somewhere some way to hold the so let let's see I'll extrude this and I'll show you what I'm trying to do okay let me extrude this let me come out of here and extrude it and um, let's see Uh, we need to extrude extrude this by and we know that the thickness of the uh, pieces let's say it's uh, 20 uh, it's a 10 millimeter board okay and uh, it's uh, it's not adding to anything it's a new piece okay so it's separate from if you add to it it will add to either this one or this uh, phone so let's keep it as a new piece and um, 
I also see where it is added, being added. Oh, it's adding right there, right at the center. Okay. So we need to um, add it. Yeah, that's that's okay. We will do this. I would I would say yeah let's add it in this manner let's see what, what happens all right so here you have a new piece of wood which is added um, this is plywood uh, what we now need is uh, to hold this whole thing um, we, we yeah we have also another uh, piece of wood to add which was um, we had drawn, remember we had drawn a rectangle beneath it, you can see the air gap over here, so the rectangle hasn't really been drawn, uh, we need to draw that, but for that we need to be able to see uh, the rectangle so that you can select, so part 3 is the sketch, is the name of the sketch, um, uh, sorry, uh, in extrude, part, uh, sketch 4 is the name of the sketch that we drew just now, which had all the contours of this. Uh, and sketch 4 is here, let's make it visible. So now you can see the rectangle, can you? Okay, and now let's do extrusion again and um, select uh, Oh, I think I have made a little mistake I should not have let's go to sketch 4 and edit it I double clicked it I I think what I realize is that I shouldn't have um, I could have kept this rectangle as a how do you say yeah now you see that I can select it I, I, I don't know if you have realized it um, this is also grayish now this whole thing is if I click in the center it selects as a whole, uh, as a yellowish color that means the area is closed so um, let's see if we can extrude this uh, I would like to extrude this part I select that part of the sketch and I do extrude so uh, what we have to do is go back to sketch 4 um, double click it and all I have to do is Oh, it's already dark so I have nothing, nothing to do over here. Um, I just have to extrude this piece on both sides. Okay, um, I will have a new piece over here, and it will have. Remember, this is a second end position. Okay, so we'd extend it on both sides of this plane. Okay, so we'd extend it. Um, we know that the length is uh, 300 mm of the paper let's extend it by so 150 150 mm uh, it's, it's 297 mm but uh, that's the length of a a4 size paper but we'll make it uh, 300 mm okay. and let's see how it goes so here we are the, the bottom plate has been drawn and now what we have to do is give them support so that everything stands um, the different colors indicate that each body is separate okay if they are of the same color like if blue and this was the same color that means they would have joined we are we want separate pieces to be made and then join together okay so right now this is the base now all I have to do is give a support over here 
Now, how do I build a support? And first of all, how do I fix this piece onto this piece, right? So, uh, a normal trick that we do in laser cutting is, um, and I think I was waiting for it to happen. Um, we want to create some notches over here so that this piece and uh, some holes on this plywood plate and some notches on this plywood plate so that they fit in well okay now let me let me let me let me know how to say uh, go back to sketch 4 that's the key sketch of everything okay uh, let me take a front view and here I want to create two notches so what I'll do is I'll create okay, what I'll do is create two rectangles okay and I'll uh, give it a dimension of let's say Twenty-five. This is an arbitrary value, but it's a good value. And uh, its distance from, uh, let's say, its distance from the center is about forty. Okay. Now what I will do is I'll I want to create the same thing over here. Uh, I would use something called a mirror. Okay. I'll click the mirror. I'll say hey, I want this, I want this, uh, I and I want them to be. Um, so and okay, there's something that has happened. Okay, uh, let's try it again. I click the mirror select the mirror line that's what the first question is let's say this is a mirror line and select entities to be mirrored okay so we select this and we select this you see you have created two more lines over here and that's it uh, and all we have to do now is um, we'll, we'll run into some problems but what we want to do is called let's say we'll trim it because there's see if we want this whole piece to be one there are these lines which are intersecting right we can't we can't afford that so what we'll do is something called trim and it will create problems but let's say we trim this part okay and we trim this again so we are basically I don't want any line. Yeah, that's what it has. We have to remove a lot of lines over here. All right. So yeah i think that's what it is but we'll see i'll check again if there's any more line over here to remove this line no this line no we don't so it's not selecting any line if i move my mouse over it's selecting this line it's selecting this line this line it's selecting this and this so there's no line over here so that's what we want we want this whole piece to be continuous like uh, and have two notches okay now we have created uh, this thing. We why do we have? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we need we need to make it horizontal. Yeah, that's it. And. Um,
and let's let's see if we can now it will create a lot of problems now but let's see what it has done oops it has created some monster of a problem because we didn't go in a systematic manner uh, what I will do is So we will double click the extrude 4 and uh, okay. Sketch 4. I'm confused what is. So let's delete the extrude 4. Let's delete that. Okay, extrude three. Does extrude three? Yeah, so extrude three has what we want. This is extrude three. Is very good. Um, and now let's create the extrude four, which is basically um, and my computer just hangs. Let it reappear. Okay. Now I still want my rectangle over here. I still want to extrude it. Um, so yeah, the best way is to go through that. So let's say extrude. Uh, let me let me create a new rectangle instead of going back to the same thing. Let me select this plane. Or, or, or whichever other plane is there okay. oh come on let me select the front plane again and let me sketch a rectangle over here and uh, what I'll do is select the front plane remember these pieces I'll just create a simple rectangle overlapping whatever has already been drawn okay that's it it's already black because it has been drawn and let's draw over it now I would do um, extrude and I would select selected let's let's remove everything and just yeah that's that's what we want we want the whole thing to be selected we want it to be a new uh, extrusion we want it to be 150 millimeters on one side and on the second side also 150 millimeters okay balanced and that's it yeah, so here we are uh, we have created um, the shape now we want to in in this piece uh, if you see uh, if you take this piece and make it transparent in some ways let's say I will uh, um, can I okay let's see if I can make it um, I right click it 
I hide part one make transparent okay I'm making I'm making the paper transparent it's still there by making the paper transparent now you see that uh, we have created two notches over here whereas this piece by itself will not have notches so what we do is create holes on this piece okay so um, let's select the plane over here okay and let's sketch on it all right and uh, and let's take the top view so here uh, this um, but I think we need to make this transparent and all right I think I'm missing this also we need to make transparent because I can't see yeah so let's uh, yeah so we have these two spots over here right and that's what we want to create a hole of Let, let's let's see we can draw directly rectangle yeah and we here also draw directly a rectangle yeah and uh, yeah, that's it. They have already become black because we took the reference uh, of the base below, and that's it. And uh, uh, and now what I want to do is make a hole. Um, I will hide this hide part one. Okay. Uh, I want to create a hole over here. So I do extrusion extrude. Uh, I will select what I want to do. I want to extrude this guy and this guy. But I don't want to add extrude. I want to remove, and I want to remove that uh, from this piece. So I just want to remove this thing blind. Up to next. Okay. And that's it. So now you see it's a very clean cut over here and this piece will fit directly onto uh, the piece over here so this kind of solves um, one of the problems i also want to add some structure to the bottom part um, so again okay now what I'll do is I'll create a bottom part. Okay. I will sketch on that plane. I'll select it. I want to create a rectangle. Um, Now the base of the rectangle should be same as the base of this piece. So I'll make them coincident. Okay. That takes care of one piece and I will also try to you know draw a line from I'll draw a line from here to or is it is it already centralized? No. So I will draw a line from the 
here to the center of this line. Oh, yes, you see, yeah, on the center, this line I'll convert it into a dotted line, and this dotted line I'll make it into vertical. So what this leads to is a uniformly distributed um, uh, bottom plate. Now all I have to do is give it some uh, length. We know that it is um, we know that it is three hundred. So let's say 310, but that's too less of a width over here. We'll make it 320 so that we have 10 mm, 10 mm, and mm on both sides. And, uh, and, but I also want to remove, I want to, I want to. I want to remove the top piece now or I would convert it into let's convert it into a, a just a, a sketch because why why I want to do it I want to make enough slots for Now what I'm doing is come on. So these things should be merged. Yeah. So what I've done is I've created a slot so that the top plywood can sit. And um, in this case, this point and this point should be coincident also. Right. So it is black. As you can see, there are, you might see the image is very simple, but there are so many small points to take care of. And once we have this, <clears throat> I need to make um, a slot want to make a slot so I will create another slot and um, This point and this line should be coincident. You see what I'm trying to do, and I'll select this as coincident. And this line and this line as coincident. Okay, and I'll give it. I'll give it a dimension. I'll see the height of this thing from bottom is it's a ten halfway. Alright. And what I'll do is I'll trim the bottom piece. So it becomes <coughs> it becomes a cube. Okay. Now let's see if we have some shape. Okay.
yeah as you can see if I can uh, highlight this this is what we create all right this is the way in which uh, this piece holds the top plate as well as it fits into the bottom plate I'll show you how it fits in we still have to do one last work um, let's extrude it first let's extrude it twice so it will be again 10 millimeters uh, on one side and uh, 10 millimeters on the other side because or let's say 5 millimeters on the one side and 5 millimeters on the other side all right because that's what uh, we are using 10 millimeter thick um, pieces of plywood all right so it is not merged with anything therefore it's new there's nothing merging and that's it okay another another thing you see that there's no color over here now all we have to do is now create a notch over here okay uh, because now as you can see uh, there has to be a notch over here a u-shape over here let's do this thing I'll click on this surface and then I'll sketch on it and um, once I sketch I take the front seat and I want to create um, I want I want to how do I do it but I can't see um, I would like to see the whole system instead of being solidly filled I want to see it in terms of lines can I do it uh, workspace properties no not here let me click over this and let's see if I can make it um, section view. Okay, I don't think that's there. Yeah, I all I will do is create. How do I do? Yeah, luckily there is something. Uh, okay. So I'm I'm doing a lot of guesswork. Not not really guesswork, but. it together <coughs> so what I mean to show you is that while this plane has a U shaped over here the top plane has a U cavity over here so they fit into each other very well and that's what I want to create so I've created this additional uh, rectangle over here it, it matches right here okay it's I don't know if you will be able to do it because there may be very small steps that and that you may be uh, finding it difficult but let's say uh, I'm going just going to show you the kind of um, uh, challenges there are and uh, I'll select sketch 8 and I will remove it I'll remove it from this guy and um, I'll make it up to next uh, 
paste this your right I remove it mode scope I'm removing from part three and yeah so now you see I've created this notch and this guy has a notch here so they fit into I mean these notches are important to fit into each other well right so if I remove let's say I make I I, um, I uh, make this trans transparent okay you see now they are fitting into each other if I make this transparent uh, you see that the first uh, transparency and uh, oops no 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 I want it yeah so I'll, uh, what else is transparent part one let's say Can I? Yeah. All right. So now you get an idea of how we can create the bottom base. Okay. And the same you can do for the top, but the top is kind of a bit tricky. Um, and uh, all I would do is again because it's on the same plane I'll click on that plane I would try to make um, a sketch and let's see I just want to create a angle over here so what I'll do is just use a simple That's all I want to do. Okay. Um, now I know that our length here had to be uh, something like 40. Let's keep this thing as a horizontal line. All right. And let's uh, join these two lines because we want that to be a base so we can just make them coincident all right and um, instead of a line over here now why is this line okay so what we want is basically this point and this line to be coincident okay but I will also draw a little bit of a piece over here at this point and this line should also be constant okay and I will just cut this piece so it becomes part of one um, and full uh, yeah I think I did cut this piece so now that's a complete part 
and uh, let's say its dimension is Okay, and uh, its height is let's say forty. Keep it the same. All right, and again we know the angle is one twenty five. All right, and. Uh, why is this still blue? Yeah, it's blue because yeah, let's keep the top part ninety or let's keep it say eighty five. Okay. So this is a new other, a new piece that we have created. We we'll just uh, exit the sketch, uh, sketch, and we'll see how it performs. This is a thing, and let's extrude it again on both sides, five five millimeters. We are creating a new piece. We have. 5 over here and 5 over here and that's it why didn't it work oh we didn't select what piece we wanted to extrude we have to select this right yeah, now it will work. So it has created a piece over here and here in this uh, plane again we have to create a notch so that it sits very well. Okay. Um, and that, that notch actually helps it uh, make um, a, a gluing surface basically. So. We sketch on this plane. Uh, I will I want to create that rectangle over here. So let's yeah, we already have uh, we already have that. Yeah. So remember the we had the bottom area uh, the there was a notch from here to here uh, and we have created a counter notch on the top no I think we did the wrong thing we want to create a notch at the bottom yeah because is black that's good that's all you have to do and all you have to do now is create a hole so let's see sketch oh, sorry that's true remove you want to remove a piece you want to um, uh, take this sketch number 10 and we want to remove it only from this piece so merge scope is part 3 and you want to do it not blind where you have to give you have to give up to next so it will only go till the depth of this line okay and that's it that's it. 
So if I rotate, I'll s that's the clear set you can see over here, right? So the phone ha phone is setting sitting on this three uh, point. It's not a very stable joint. It's not a very stable surface, but it is okay for the sake of uh, indi indicating how uh, all this thing works. So here we are. We created a, a, a stand for paper and a phone, and this all thing could be cut in uh, uh, in a laser. Now the normal thing would be to uh, give proper contours to this thing. Uh, you can always use the fillet button and you can start by saying i want some fillet over here i want some fillet over here right i want some um, fillet over here 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 Right. I want some fillet over here. So all these things can be done. I won't go into the details because I don't think we are actually cutting the space. But basically, it, it's a very powerful tool. It just makes it much more beautiful. But I'll 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 skip that. I'll just. It's you can if we uh, at all do it, we can revisit this page and so this is all um, what we uh, what is assembly. So all these pieces will be cut separately uh, in a laser cutter and that will be joined together. And uh, let's say I want to create a drawing out of these things, right? Um, I will say uh, create create a drawing. Yeah. Uh, there's some templates. Uh, I I want I want um, custom template. Um, I just want a very simple template. Let's see. I'll use. Okay. Uh, but I don't want. Okay, let's let's say. So I'll insert this part. It already gives me an option. So we have, we are only have to have, uh, let's say, part three. Um, I would like it to be ones to one. We'll, we'll change the paper, but one is to one is what we want, and we'll really change the paper. Okay, I don't want this thing. Since we are going to give it to a laser um, cutting machine, um, we, we do not want. Um, let's change the sheet. Okay, let's uh, properties. Okay. 
No. Why? Why can't I edit this sheet? Let's uh, yeah, I want to just select the sheet, sheet properties. Okay, size custom, and I want uh, size A. Horizontal line zero, vertical line zero. I don't want a border, and um, format. Okay, I'm just trying to configure scale one is to one. Let's say I want to make it custom. I'll make it hundred over hundred. Really make it really big because I don't. Let's see if we can fit all of these uh, pieces onto it. In fact, I, I just don't want Okay, that's one part all right and now I will add more parts to it insert view uh, part 3 front no not one more so this is the first time I am using this particular Come on. I want to just insert newer parts. Click on insert. I want the other part to be made and I will say the stop view sheet is yeah. That's one part, and again I want to insert insert view insert so this is the bottom piece right and the last part remains okay. 
insert view, insert the phone stand. Um, again, I'll take the right view. that's it all you have to do is send this to the laser cutting guys because these dimensions are already in, uh, given or or what you could do is just add some dimensions let's see whether yeah let's say i'll do the dimension of this guy okay this is an inch uh let's say document properties workspace units is a millimeter I don't know. Um, document properties cancel. Why? I don't understand this. Why should yeah. It's very irritating when when everything is you know not consistent. I don't understand how to change. All you most of the time have to do is just uh, yeah, give only one dimension, and that should be it. And that's your um, so when you want to export this now, all you have to do is right click, export, export drawing as. The way I do it is, is uh, make it DXF. So DXF is what the laser guys can read. Um, um, current sheet and uh, yeah, and downloads. It will download uh, lines. So that's it. When I click export, um, it will be downloaded to my computer, and that's what I. And just get um, no, just save. So that's all. That's all you forward to uh, the the laser guys. And uh, that's about it. Um, I know this was quite complicated. It. it in it i fidgeted a bit because this is not the software i use the web my internet is not always so powerful so i on shape is nice but it's not so it really depends on the internet and then it also hangs so uh, i use solidworks which is made by the uh, i mean which is the original software on which on shape is, is based right now so that's much more easier it resides on my computer and therefore it's easier but anyways all this thing had to be created from scratch so it took more time but uh, yeah uh, this just gives you an overview of how to create the stand uh, thank you